What, what are your thoughts on what's going on as, as it relates to Hollywood? And I want to... I'll give you one right now. R. Kelly. Mm. I didn't know if you wanted to talk about it. No, hit it. <laughs> no, no, hit it. Listen, as someone who works in the schools, as a, a school psychologist, my doctorate is clinical psychology. I got into this field to help children. For me, there's no statute of limitations on child molestation or pedophilia. You understand? I don't care if you did it last week or 50 years ago, you should be held accountable for it. I want to say that out front. However, going back to the three new faces of racism, feminism, LBGTQism, and multiculturalism, okay, arts and entertainment or whatever channel put this on, they don't give a damn about black kids, black women, black men, black people. This was done for three reasons. Because first of all, most of the crimes he committed are old. They happen. So why wasn't this done back then? All of you in the video, why didn't y'all expose R. Kelly back then? You know why y'all didn't expose him? Because y'all thought y'all was going to get something out of this. The sickness of the R. Kelly show is the fact that everyone on the show was an accomplice to the crime. So my question to them would be, when they lock him up, because you love kids all of a sudden, but you didn't at that time, are you acceptable with being named as an accomplice and being sentenced to prison time yourself? Every parent, every woman, all of you are guilty. And my issue with the black feminists is they want to separate R. Kelly away from the system in which he existed. This was not a one-man operation. This was a system of people that preyed on children or allowed them to be preyed on and did nothing as long as they were getting what they expected out of the situation. That's not justice. The only reason why you exposed them now is because you didn't get what you wanted. If you would've became a big pop star, we wouldn't even be hearing about the kids who allegedly were molested. And the only reason why I'm saying allegedly because everybody got a right to tell their story. And until I see both sides and see the evidence and see everything else, I can't say who's guilty, who's not. But the way this is being done, this is nothing more than a test run by white power to see if we can get the black community on our side. Either way the black community goes, we will benefit. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let's say the black community says R. Kelly needs to go to jail. He's a pedophile and we do not accept pedophilia. The white power structure says good. Black people are willing to let us destroy their own. So then, any black man we want to take down in America who is not guilty of R. Kelly's crimes, We'll just paint them as pedophiles because it's been so sensationalized in the media and we could take out 24 more prominent black men who are not guilty because we got the black community to align themselves with the same criminal injustice system that's been destroying a community for hundreds of years. Now, let's say we go the other route and say, let's protect R. Kelly, okay? Because he's a hero and he's a successful black man and we ain't gonna let the white man get him. Then the white community says, great, we still got it. Because since they want to protect the pedophile, when the American Psychiatric Association normalizes pedophilia in the next 10 years, the black community can't say nothing because y'all said y'all wanted R. Kelly to be exempt. So if R. Kelly can be exempt as an alleged pedophile, so can all other pedophiles. Because there's a movement in this country by rich white males who want to normalize sex with children. So if the black community protects, allegedly, someone who committed pedophilia acts, then they automatically are supporting the movement for the normalization of pedophilia. So the question becomes, if we lose either way we go, how do we win? And you win by bringing justice to your own community, not going to white folks and asking the same people who committed more injustice against you than anybody in history to administer justice. You don't go to the rapist and say, can you try him for rape? You don't go to the thief and say, can you try him for stealing? You don't go to the abuser and say, can you try him for abusing? The white man is in no moral position to judge any black person for their crimes. We should be judging them ourselves. Oh, but did you hear what Kevin Spacey said? What did he say? And mind you, Kevin Spacey didn't get an R. Kelly show. No, he didn't. <laughs> right. he's been quiet. No, and he's not going to, because did you hear what he said? Yeah. Kevin Spacey said on TV, mm -hmm. if I go down, I'm taking the whole Hollywood pedophile ring with me. Mm. Wow. Wow. He, won't get he said it on national TV. Mm. Oh, 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 but they don't want the whole ring to go down because when they are pulling these pedophile strings, I'm 
telling you, most CEOs of the music houses, most CEOs of the studios, do you realize, I read an article that said over 75% of all child actors since 1970 were molested in Hollywood. There's documentaries on them. Pedophilia is a Hollywood institution. So Kevin Spacey came out like a gangster and said, if y'all want to play that, I'm going to pull all the strings. And guess who else is going to fall out some of them strings? Some of your most recent U.S. presidents. But is that surprising, though? I mean, this, it's corrupt. See, here's my thing. If we're going to go after this, mm -hmm. go after it systematically and institutionally. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to make you the fall guy for drug dealing. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to make him the fall guy for breaking in cars. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to make R. Kelly the fall guy for pedophilia. This is a system that has been maintained and protected and bred in American culture for hundreds of years. Do you know that every major white male father of psychology, okay, most of them did not oppose sex with kids. Nor did they oppose same sex. Yes, read Sigmund Freud. Read Alfred Adler. Read it. So this is nothing foreign to their culture. I'm not saying all white folks support it because they don't. There's a lot of white groups who are against the LBGT and they're against the pedophilia movement. But what I'm saying is the origin of this abomination, okay, has its roots in it. You can't find me no African civilization in the history of the world where being married to somebody of the same sex was acceptable or where having sex with a baby was acceptable. The punishment was death and still is in most African countries. That's why they sent Barack Obama over to Liberia and they sent Barack Obama over to Tanzania and Barack Obama threatened the presidents of sovereign African nations that if you don't legalize homosexuality, we will stop your funding. Mm -hmm. Why does the president of the United States care about whether or not gay people could get married in Africa? For two reasons. Number one is population control. Who's the number one supporter of gay marriage in America? Planned Parenthood. Is that a coincidence? The same organization that birthed the birth control movement, the abortion clinics, is the number one supporter of gay marriage. Why? Because two gay women can't reproduce. Two gay men can't reproduce. And why do they want it in the public schools? Why did Barack Obama approve this in the schools? It's because if I can get to the kids at five, if I can get to them at 10, if I can get to them at 15, I can homosexualize everybody through conditioning because as we taught in psychology, as a man is taught, so is his thoughts.